Hey, what's going on? How you doing? Oh, not nothing. I was just about to kill myself. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on there, boss. Don't be so hasty. You got lots to live for. But, 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 but I don't. I don't want to live anymore. Listen, man. For a small fee, I can make it happen. I, I'm very skilled with a I'll stick. I can make it happen, man. Really? Yeah, I can do it. Do you got any money? Do it. You sure? Is this what you want? <laughs> I'm Alright. Look, get on your knees, look away, okay? I'll make it happen. Sure. Okay, uh, I promise. All right. You gotta get on the knees, though. It's just, you know, policy. Alright. Ten. Nine. Eight. Oh, that's awkward. Alright. Well... Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Fucking did the stand up. He juked me out, chat. He juked me out. Alright, don't one look. I'm doing a dirty deed here. Yeah, don't don't worry about the human meat. We're just gonna toss it. Eat him? Ah, we're good. Oh SP6, where's our AS Val? Dude. Now I gotta take this ammo over to our hardcore EFT account. How do we extract? Where's the extraction point? Oh, that's an amazing roleplay idea. We could just be like a roleplay of an Escape from Tarkov character looking for the extraction point. We'll just go up to people. Where's the extraction point? Tell me where it is. Where's the boat? This starts screaming, where is the extraction point, damn it! Shoot him in the kneecaps. Alright, that's... So, where are you, Sec? Oh, I thought, I thought there's scavs in this area. You better worry about bears. This, like, starts... <laughs> hey! You better worry about bears. What are you shooting at, damn it? Just like, I see a random cotton, like, running through the woods. Dicky needles, just like, running after me. Dick, 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 dicky needles, dick. Man, I'm tired of all this walking. Oh yeah, that's true. Dude, that's, that's the most accurate one of them all. Yo, we gotta, we gotta get crafty here. It's too dark, and I'm not gonna turn up the gamma. And I wanna see if we can make a connection here. So, I'm gonna make a torch. And uh, a lot of people don't know this. You can actually add tree sap to the torch. I shit you not to make it last longer. Add tree resin. All right. Now, uh, we do have matches, which is nice. So let's light the torch. There we go. Kind of makes everything else really dark, though. It actually makes your visibility worse, in my opinion. And we also need to make a bigger backpack, I guess. Oh shit, I'm not gonna mess with the rocks. Hey, dude. Hello! Put my gun away. Gun's going away. What's up? How you doing? Hello. Right. Hi. Cool, man. I'm hey, me too. Hey, did you see the extraction point here? Name, I'm left behind and I'm looking for my squad. <laughs> An extraction point? Yeah, I'm looking it's for the extraction point. point. Do you know where it is? I'm looking for the green smoke. I don't see it. Hi, guys. Green smoke? Yeah. Hey, I got That's rounds cool for shit. that weapon. Uh, I've got a round for your weapon as well. You want to do a trade? You want to go down to the train station when we're? Yeah, let's do a trade. Let's. Uh, I'll give you some yeah, ammo for your gun. I'll. You know, we'll do a trade out of the, out of the open. Oh, you better worry about bears, man. They're fucking out there. Bears. Yeah, bears. I'm more worried about wolves. Oh. You know, come with me in the, in the train station. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> All right, what's your name, dude? Yo, my name is uh, Ted. Nice to meet you. Ted. All right, nice to meet Some you. Some people like to my call me Usec One. My girlfriend. 
Ufec one. Yeah, Ufec Ufec like, one. Um, squad position. Oh, all right. You were in the army. I'm um, currently. I, that was uh, man. I can't believe they left us behind, man. I'm just looking for the extraction point. I got lost. I mean, uh, did you see the infected and ship? You know, Everybody. I've seen, I've seen it, but Everybody the, you know, dead. the scavs. I mean, it's probably just the scavs doing some drugs, man. Just. uh... It, uh you seem a very misinformed person. Did you just wake up or something? Man, I mean, listen. I don't know where the hell we are. I'm just, you know, I'm looking for the extraction point. That's all I know. It's all I'm trained to do. What's your name? What is that extraction point? I don't know. My name is uh, Mike. Mike Rofen. I'm a village guard. Maybe you heard of the village? Nope. Haven't heard right, of anybody. So there is a community of uh, friendly survival that uh, actually grouped and uh, helps each other in the, um, and form the village, you know, just to try and survive since the outbreak. And it's up in uh, Starry Owl and Bermil if you want to join in. You're going, Anybody you're going welcome where? Welcome it's friendly. It's in Starry Yar. Starry Yar. That's a long ways away, yes, my friend. in the Lumber Mill. Yo, take this 308. There you go. You can have it. Let's do a trade. Uh, I don't have any room. Actually, I was gonna ask you. Do you have a knife? I, I kinda need some right? I do have a knife. Somebody to just cut this shirt. Hey, you got one. Knife's right there. Oh, thank you, dude. Get so you were thing. in the army, right? Wow. Well, yeah. What, what, what country? Uh, United Nations Security uh, Forces. Thank you, my dude. We were sent here All to right. investigate the I terror group, the terror group labs, right. and then shit hit the fan I real fast. Okay, that's Can't do why it. I guess you looking for your extraction it's, point. I'm looking for like the, yeah, man, point. I'm looking for the extraction point. Okay, will take it. I don't need that, dude. Go ahead. Yo, man, I appreciate that. It's gonna go a long way to help my cause. No problem. As long as you don't use it to, you know, shoot some friendly people. Listen, man. As long as you're not a batter, we're good, right? A batter or a scab, <laughs> we're fine. This dude's like this what fucking asshole. Dude. Fucking asshole. All right. Well, you guys are up in what? Star Yar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We live in Star Yar. You live in Star Yar. Yes. Okay. Well, uh, do you guys have a radio frequency or something? Uh, we mostly use the main channel. Most of the time, we try to traffic the radio chatters. And uh, mm -hmm. if you have any radio okay. battery, actually, I could use that because you know, a journalist without a radio is kind of useless, isn't it? Uh, well, I don't have a radio, but I have a battery for a radio. That's good yeah, enough. Yeah, I'm just looking for the bread. Oh, thank you, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, no problem. You can talk to there. your people. Love it. I won't need it anyway. I'm left behind, man. I don't... I think I'm on All my right, own. Shit, man. Uh, what you wanna do? You wanna tag along and maybe go to the village or something, or...? Sure, why not? Alone? Why not? Let's let's go together. Alright. Could you just cut me, uh, cut me that, please? I could use some more. Sure. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, maybe I can find some more clues on how to get the fuck out of this place. Thank you, dude. Uh, by the way, the, the only thing like that sounds like extraction point to me is like the western checkpoint. Do you know about Patino Castle? It's just two clicks northwest. Nah, of man, nah, dude. We, we don't own any of this territory. We don't operate here normally. It would have to be through a helicopter of some kind. Have you seen any? NATO looking helicopters? Nah. The only ones I found were crashed sadly. So Crash! sorry to say you that, but no! it's been a long time since I've Damn seen you and around. Fuck! <laughs> no! That was my ride! You okay, dude? My ride, man! Fuck! <laughs> Shit! Alright. Yeah, I know it's uh... <laughs> Yo, man, take me to your village. Maybe somebody knows more about how I can leave. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Very intense. Did you look the place already, or did, did I spook you before you did? No, man, I'm not, I'm not easily spooked, man. Not easily spooked. 
Let's go. I mean, I've been following you since you were in the base house or something. You just went out. No, oh, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I had a torch. I was, like, I was gonna see if I could find my buddies. Yeah, I saw the torch. On the oh, you seen the torch? Down, yeah. Oh, there you go. That's perfect. That's why I knew there was somebody. Now. All right. I'm surprised you're the first guy I see that uses a tall check outside of Rene. Well, you know, when shit hits the fan and I'm all out of bat, I don't have a flashlight. I figured if I if I light the torch, then some people that might know might want to be friendly, might want to talk, might come over rather than shoot at me. Whereas, like, if uh, you know, people are gonna want to attack me and yeah, rob me anyway, they works. they're gonna shoot at me and then shit, you know, then it's on. They miss their shot, they're fucked. Sometimes it works. Um, do you wanna go check PD real quick? Listen, man, I'm following you, cause I, I don't know, man. All right, let's go, call them. We're gonna <laughs> Ask him for some Ford armor. All right. Ask him if uh, you can leave. Go me go to the you customs. Know that there is actually uh, an ongoing big conflict in Cerro Grande. There is a bandit that. And this clan named Ruff that is actually claiming the city and there is Name a Rogue? clan. Uh, Ruff. Ruts. R-U-F. Russ. Like the Russian Defense Forces? Ruff. Something like that? I'm not sure. I don't even know what that means. Bears? Do they wear black outfits? That they're fucking assholes. Nah, not specially. They just like... It's hard to keep. It's hard to understand them. They like to steal shoes as well. It's been reported that there's not a conscious main survival, and the survival would work wake up without any shoes. Who does that, man? I know, right? Hold on, we gotta. I gotta get him. Stabbed him. Got him cold, man, like a butter. Got him cold. Gotta drop those you set commands. You don't talk, I should. That's how I go. Yo, hello, friend. Listen. Yo, I'll come up. And help you out. Alright, nobody on the right. Alright. Right. Listen. Yeah. Clear? Yeah, clear. All right, let me go down and check the bottom room. No problem. Uh, do you have any shotgun shells by any chance? Nope. All I have is 35 uh, or 357 Magnum, uh, 45 ACP, and 7.6 by 54R. I'm not a fan of the of the repeater, but whatever, I'll just do it that. Okay. There is a Fiat 75 without mag and the shotgun. Ah, it's okay. Alright, let's roll then. Let's go. Knives only. Yeah, I'm looking for a hatchet. If you can, uh... I'm missing my trusty hatchet. I, re I misplaced it. If you see one, just let me know. I'm gonna need a replacement. Alright. We use sex. We go nowhere without a good old hatchet in our hands. Okay. Makes us run a little bit faster, you know, grab a hold of something sharp. So I was able to meet up with some guy named Mike Rafone from the village security guard camp up near Starry Yar. And I decided to kind of impersonate a USEC from Escape from Tarkov just for fun to see how it goes. Uh, for those that are wondering, I was playing on the village server. Uh, so you guys can get involved there with various different factions and story and role play that's going to be going on. Anyway, I decided to continue to follow Microphone all the way up towards Starry Yar, the trading outpost. And you guys are going to be seeing some of the outcomes of that in the coming days. But if you guys are interested in more of this story, then let me know in the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe here to the YouTube channel and then also stay up to date with my live streams every single morning starting at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at noon. Over the next couple days, my schedule is going to be a little turbulent to say the least. So definitely check out my Twitter account as well for updates on when I will actually be live. Anyways, guys, this Daisy story is just getting started, so I hope to see you guys again in the next one.